Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, back doing a best of one Kamigawa Neon Dynasty draft. All right, Invoke Calamity is rare, we're not going to take that. Tough to cast and requires too much setup. Uh, Norik is a good one, I'd probably just take Life of Toshiro Umazawa, I love this card. It's removal, it's a buff, gains life, comes in as a semi-relevant samurai. Naomi is pretty good too. Uh, not much else here, so let's just take, I mean, Byers Beetle, good ninja enabler, bears totally playable, cultivation for ramp decks, brute suit is surprisingly playable, uh, but yeah, let's take the life of Toshiro Umezawa. All right, follow-up pick, nothing in black, I think the best card in here is probably the Tempered and Solitude, it's just, gives you a ton of card advantage, I love this card. Futurist Operative is good too. This card surprisingly wins games, but so does Tempered and Solitude, and I just really like red in this format, so I'm going to take it. Hmm, this feels like a bit of a miss, actually. I think the best card is Colossal Sky Turtle by like a mile, so I might just take that, because I don't really care about Shadow Walker. Malfunction's more a sideboard card. Long Reach of Night, finally someone in the comments explained how it was fixed so they sack a creature unless they discard a card so if you have no creatures or if you have no yeah if you have no creatures you can do that instead of discarding a card i believe is what the fix was but either way sky turtle is amazing so i'll just take it whatever i don't care there's nothing even close to as good i mean tamo's completion is good but sky turtle just has so much upside goes infinite with season of renewal and uh is just an awesome win con and can bounce things randomly. It's just awesome card. All right, pick here. Well, best card. Mirror Shell Crab's pretty good. Could, could take the Dismal Backwater, get some fixing. Tales of Master Sashiro's pretty good. Sky Bless Samurai is good. March of Reckless Joy is playable. Network Terminal Ramps fixes is a loot effect. Network Terminal is actually pretty good. Not sure which card I like the most here. I kind of like the crab. Counterspell, that also can be a win con. Silencer's kind of whatever. I think I might just take the fixing. This might be wrong, but I don't quite know what we're doing yet, so I need a little more time. All right, I could take like the Roaring Earth here. I actually like that card quite a bit. It's an instant speed creature that you can block with or attack with. And it's early. It's an awesome uh, enchantment that just buffs your dudes and makes them huge. So I might take Roaring Earth. Uh, otherwise, Mirror Shell Crab is good too. Uh, Web Spinner Cuff is playable, but let's take Roaring Earth. I just really like the card. I've been impressed with it. A Gonjo Uprising, huh? Well, that's cool. Might just take the careful cultivation here. Skybless Samurai is very good. But uh, I guess I'm all right taking cultivation. Ramp. Sometimes you can play it as an aura and have it be relevant too. Hmm. Well, Seismic Wave, pick seven, and another Tempered in Solitude. That's surprising. I'll take the Seismic Wave. Could end up green, red, splash, blue. Yeah, that might actually happen. Because Seismic Wave gets two-for-ones very often, from what I've found. Which makes it pretty exceptional. I feel like I never play green-red. I don't. I never play green-red, and I never play blue-white. All right, we could take Bearer of Memory. It's a totally fine card here. Otherwise, Modern Age is probably better, but I feel like at this point we're likely green, so... I'll take the Bearer. Shrine Steward could have found Careful Cultivation, but... I don't care enough about that. All right. I guess we could take another cultivation here. Set up for more ramp. We already have a bear of memory. Acuronin's not looking so hot in here. All right. I mean, this lets us play a higher mana curve. All right, I guess now I can take the Emergence. A third Cultivation doesn't seem that necessary here. Grafted Growth could f actually fix us and ramp us pretty nicely, but I'll take Emergence, you know, it's a fine card. 
I don't think it's amazing, but I've won games with it, so it can do things. It's it's better than the Crackling Emergence, because at least green has like enchantment payoffs, but I feel like red doesn't really have much enchantment payoff. None of these cards are particularly good. I guess I'll just take the green card. So March of Reckless Joy is actually okay. Typically, I don't want to exile a bunch of cards from the top of my deck, but in a pinch, it can give you some card advantage, so it might be all right. Ogre here. All right. Oh, Reality Chip. Well, if we're already splashing Sky Turtle, I'm fine splashing Reality Chip. Otherwise, Season of Renewal, we'd have the infinite combo, hoping to wheel that. But Reality Chip is too good to pass. Um... Modern Age, probably not worth the splash. Bamboo Grove Archer is good if you have a good late game plan, but I'm not exactly sure we do yet. I mean, red certainly seems open. We were just getting past all the red at the end, and we had a pick seven seismic wave, so. I feel like we're likely going to have to be base red green. Really don't want to play this. Would prefer to not play this. This is probably not happening. Everything else is okay. All right. Well, you could take the fixing. You could take Behold the Unspeakable. It's double blue, and we really don't have much fixing for it yet. But it's just, it is good enough to probably take over Uncharted Haven. Although, Uncharted Haven is going to help fix our mana base quite a bit. That's tough. I think I would go for the fixing. I really want to take Behold the Unspeakable because I think it's an incredibly strong card, but at the same time, if we don't get fixing, we're going to have a hard time putting this deck together, I think. All right, Prosperous Thief is actually kind of good in that it uh, can give us treasures to fix, but there's also Tanuki, which can fix and ramp and gives us, you know, more... Uh, more to do with our careful cultivations, but Kami's Flare is good too, because we're very removal light at the moment. We just have one removal spell. That's tough. I think I'm going to go with Kami's Flare just to protect ourselves early. It's a tough pick though, because I really think Tanuki is kind of exactly what our deck wants, but if we can't survive early, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, as much as I like Terminal, we're just taking Haven. It's free fixing. So here... Take Apprentice. I don't think it looks that good. Kunai is okay. We just we need more cheap stuff. Actually, I guess with the two cultivations, Kunai could be okay. Or otherwise, we're like splashing Puzzle Maker, which I don't think is that good. I guess we'll take the Kunai. Okay, another cultivation. We have Favor of Jukai. Jukai Trainee. I'd rather take the cultivation and find some more beefy things to play. So I guess we'll take Cultivation. Cultivation also probably good with Reality Chip. is just gives you excess mana or more mana to to use. Um, I don't need any of these cards. I guess Bronze Cudgels is something you could use a bunch of mana on, but... <laughs> I would need more to, more evasion. Maybe i just take it anyway because I don't care about any of these cards. Mnemonic Sphere is not, not a splashable card in my opinion. So we could take the synthesizer, it's usually fine. Otherwise we could take the actually Colossus here makes sense to me. Because we have all this ramp, so if if we don't end up with enough beef in here, we could be in trouble. Usually don't play the Colossus. Alright, we could take the safekeeping. Otherwise, I'm splashing one of these, which I don't think seems good. Alright, we'll take safekeeping. It's decent protection, it can protect anything. I feel like I never end up playing it, but that's alright. So we need some more cheap bodies. Gosh, Oni Cult Anvil. I guess we do have Dismal Backwater. It's just, how many actual artifacts do I have? Five? We have more than I thought. I, otherwise, I'm taking like Synthesizer or something. Definitely feels greedy to take Anvil, but the card is good. Whatever. None of these cards matter. Splashing awareness doesn't make sense. Song Shaper, maybe in a pinch, because we do need more. We need more cheap things. So, actually, maybe Song Shaper makes the deck. We'll see. Explosive Entry is more of a sideboard card. Guess we can take an Artificer. It is a two drop. Hmm.
Well, I can play Song Shapers if I have to. So I guess that's good. All right, pack three. Well, Fable of the Mirror Breaker is a fantastic card. So is Terrarium and Tanuki, but this is just amazing. So I love Rabbit Battery, too. It's really fun. Cliffs would be great. I think we're going to wheel something we want from there. Even the Terminal would be valuable, but easy Fable of the Mirror Breaker. All right. Probably not playing Cudgel. Probably don't need Kami of Industry. Hopefully not playing Artificer. All right. Well, Springleaf Avenger is a great pickup. Something worth ramping into and is just good in a vacuum and in general. Getting stuff back. Pretty cheap ninja, too. It's a good card. Definitely looking like a 17 land deck. Uh, we can take the cuff. Actually, no, we want the Season of Renewal. We've got the infinite combo, so that makes the most sense. So, how many creatures do I have? It says six. That's crazy. We gotta have more than that, don't we? This is a creature. This is a creature. Uh, Stalker's not that good. Splashing completion is not the worst. Could take Replication Specialist. We have enough artifacts to copy where it's probably worth the splash, honestly. Yeah, I think so. I guess you, you don't really want to copy a reality chip, but whatever. All right, Web Spinner Cuff. I think we can take now. We need more creatures, and this just buys us time. We're not a beatdown deck. Fang of Shigeki would too, but I think Cuff's actually better. And then another Season of Renewal would actually be fine too, but I'll take the Cuff. I think we're pretty creature light, plus... More replication specialist value. As much as I love Smelter. We could do Smelter, but maybe Preserver. Smelter's a cheap beat. You know what? I'll take Smelter. We have treasures we can make, and you can sack a Construct every turn to make another one. Yeah, it's it's a good combo. Uh, Guidebot's a good card. All right, I'll take it. Card draw. Pump creature. All right, Roaring Earth number two, or we take the Kami's Flare. Uh, it's actually a legit question. Do I have enough creatures now? Uh, Ten, we, we might. We're probably pretty close to having enough creatures, so I might just take Kami's Flare for more early protection. Oh, I love Rabbit Battery. Yeah, we're going to take that. Oh, maybe, no, I guess we take the fixing. As much as I love Battery, we want to make our mana base better. Uh, could take the fourth cultivation. We probably don't need four. I guess I could take a boar just as a, another artifact that can reconfigure and be useful. All right, two cuffs are fine though. Yeah, and actually the boar is good with the uh, specialist. So I think our plan is actually kind of solid. Fixing's not bad either. Don't need any of this. Stalker, not likely to play it, but possibly. As much as I love Tamiyo's safekeeping, I think once again we're probably going to have to cut it. I just don't know if I have space for it. I don't know if we need three cultivations. We'll see. I mean, we have a couple things to ramp into, but... All right. <laughs> so this for like two drops and dump the Artificer. Let's do a creature... All right, so 11, I'll do a total creature count. So 11, 12, 13, sort of. Probably can't count Anvil, so we'll just do 12, 13, 14, 15. So we really can't cut creatures, comfortably cut creatures. So maybe March of Reckless Joy can go. Safekeeping probably goes. Thinking about Kunai. Oh, I guess these kind of count as creatures too, don't they? I feel like I don't need three of them. Maybe just two is okay. I'm thinking about cutting the ogre, actually. I think our creature count's still okay, and ogre doesn't really make sense in here outside of just being a blocker. So, creature wise, I think we're still okay, because I didn't count these the first time. So, that's like 12, 13, 
14, 15, sort of. All right. A little more late game, I guess, would have been nice, but that's all right. This deck looks okay. What's our mana base looking like? So primarily green and red, and then a little bit of blue and black. So black, we already have four sources of black. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sources of blue. That's plenty. Green, we have six, seven, eight sources of green. And red, we have four, five, six, seven sources of red. I think I might agree with that. We could possibly get away with one less blue, but no, we have three blue spells. That's probably reasonable what they've done. So, all right. Weird deck. It's got some strong stuff to it. It's got the infinite synergy and stuff like that. Do I want Emergence in here? I don't have to play Emergence. I could do like a... I don't know what I would do instead. Kami of Industry getting back nothing relevant. No, this this is fine. All right. I'll run it like this. We'll see you around one. All right. It's a good hand. We can do... Let's see... If I choose black, I guess we have all four colors. All right. Hmm, no attack. Well, that's weird. Unfortunately, not having the untapped red mana is going to be problematic, but that's okay. Might rip a red mana, you never know. Alright, some doer. this. So we did get the red mana, that's cool. So we can go Roaring Earth. Yeah, we'll go Roaring Earth. Red mana. Pump there, play the smelter. Oh my gosh. Probably just play the bronze plate boar here. So they can do it at instant speed, which is pretty good. No attacks, all right, well. So we'll let that die. I think we'll just season of renewal. And we can replace smelter here. All right, 
that's cool. So let's just start stacking up our trampler here. So, I can Tommy's Flare now. I think we will. We'll just kill the Subduer. And the nice thing is, even if they have Intercessor's Arrest, we can sack the boar to the Smelter. So that's pretty good. They don't really have a great attack here. Oh, that's a good draw. Uh, I wish we had something better to bring back here, but it's it's really not a big deal, so we'll just do this. Just keep making the trampler bigger. Uh, Spring Leaf of Inter doesn't really do that much as a ninjutsu play there, so just cast it like this. Oh, we trash bot. Well, I guess we can block there. We can make one of their dudes bigger, I'm alright with that. I guess we could have taken it, but I don't know how comfortably they can attack us right now either. Well, let's see. They're still kind of in trouble, I feel like. Oh, Kunai, wow, that's a good one. So... Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So do this. And equip here. Um, we'll just attach here. Do we use our oil if we do that? I guess not. And then we'll attack our. So, um, so we'll deal all the damage here, and then we actually get the kunai back too. Keep the scrap while they're at bay. Hmm. Cool. Gorg's a good one. Reality chip's a good one too. Uh, cost blue to equip though. So it's a little bit slow going. But. We can play Kunai. I 
Oops. I mean, we've got Trample here, so... Alright. We'll see you for the next one. Uh, yeah, it's a keep. We are technically missing one of our colors, but if we have our Black Splash card, I'd probably just play the black, I guess, first. Sure. So, missed on the red. I think we'll do red here. That way we can do Seismic Wave on turn three. If we need to blow up the visitor, which we probably do. So, black, red. That's cool. We got all our colors, so that's good. Let's uh, let's just hit this little baddie now. I don't want it to want it to live. So. four mana, so we don't have enough to do everything yet. Guess I can play the Cuff to block. The next turn I can... I wonder if I should have done the Boar instead. So that way I could have done double play next turn, because now I need a red mana. That's not true. I guess I can still do Bear and Anvil. So we can do green, we can go bear, anvil, and pass here. So they could have Season of Renewal too, you know, some Blade Samurai, all right. Sure. So we've got, what do we want to do here? I suppose we go Boar and Pass and get back Cuff and Bear of Memory. Cost to reconfigure the cuff. Four. All right. So let's season renewal. Back the creature and the enchantment. And then we untap. We go land cuff. And we attach here and pass. Right. OK, 
Okay. Um, so we'll go uh, bear, guide bot, pump bear, and pass. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we don't quite have enough to do this plus guide bot, but we'll just cast this now and then pass. Spawns here. All right, so we do backwater and then pass. And then we can still do bear plus guide bot. We have lethal if they attack with everything, I'm pretty sure. because we only have three blockers. So, can't block. Um, so we'll just, oh, I don't have an enchantment creature to, never mind. Guess we'll do this. Um, sack that, I guess. Specialist is pretty cool. It's just not going to get us there. I suppose we can draw first. Um. Guess I got to sack that guide bot. That might have made more sense. But we can't get there. All right, we'll see you for the next one. Oh, let's see. Yeah, we can keep this. I guess it's a little bit awkward, but we'll have to do green 
for the Uncharted Haven, which is not ideal. But we'll do it. Do what we must. we just can get the value going now. Those bare memories probably the best beater here, so we'll do that. Just do cough here, which means I also can't use the kunai, so I probably just re equip the kunai here. Okay, still no red mana, so we're just full-fledged chill-out mode. Could actually trade here and then just season of renewal, get back cultivation and bearer, and it's probably all right. Save the kunai for a rainy day. That's cool. So, we we'll probably just do guide bot and then pump itself. So then we have three modified creatures.
side of the wave's looking good. Let's uh, draw a card. Reality chip. I guess we can cast that. Bummer. So cultivation doesn't make it big enough to do anything about Sashiro there, but huh. One, two, three, four, and I'm drawing the cuff. So five. I guess we do six. I can play two cards here. So, no kunai. So we'll do three here. Get a seismic wave. So we can't deal eight, so we'll just chump. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could do Fable plus. We do have the mana to attach cuff to something. And then we'll have to chump. I mean, if they have removal, we're looking pretty bad, but. Well, let me see. My other option is they attack with both next turn. And then I have to double block and kill something plus chump. Whereas if I do this, I have to chump 
and then I don't know if I like that more. Well, what's my best option here? They attack with both. The double block, I lose both. And I still have to jump. Both are pretty bad. But at least with one, I kill something. I still don't have enough. I'd have to quad block to kill the scrounger. So I guess the best play is just block here and then jump here. I'm trying to think if I want to keep the smelter too or do I want to discard it to Fable? Well, we'll see. I guess by blocking this way, I don't have enough to do the Colossus now, but we do have Season of Renewal in there, so. But I gotta deal with the Scrounger. I'm not sure how to do that. Mm, nice one. All right, let's see what we draw here. So we can discard that. So we'll play the smelter and land and pass. And then we uh, chump the Colossus and the scrounger. I don't think there's any draw that possibly gets us out of this mess. So I think it is GG's. See you for the next one. All right, we got a keep here. We got all of our colors too, which is nice. So we can do a turn to anvil. We're an artifact away from having a really nice combo here. Oh, well, I guess that qualifies. Let's do the smelter first. Not sure. Right. Um, so we do the backwater, the anvil. Next turn I can do the cup, sack it, get a 1-1 one, one and have the, I think the infinite. Oh, it only is when I, no, it's, it works, yeah. Good combo there. Okay, I'll take three. Go land cuff. A little sack cuff. You know, one one hasty number five.
sure. All right, emergence. That's a good one. So we can just go land emergence on the. We don't need two blue. Emergence on the island, and then we can pay that, pay one, and just solve that one. We have season of renewal to get back the smelter, which is good. memory is pretty good I think we'll just most likely just tack here if they want to trade for fang that's fine then we'll do the um, season of renewal and replay smelter And do smelter again. Let's just sack a one one here. we can just once again do the emergence on the island and we'll pay with the smelter sack that and then All right, so more land, we can go land. It's not an enchantment creature, no. Uh, boar's not bad. Then I can actually attach it and start attacking. That's pretty good, actually. So we can do boar. Take smelter again. Keep with the... 3-1 factory for now.
Hunter. What are they doing? Interesting. All right, I'm all set. So we do have the man to do the Colossus. So probably I'm okay with that. Activate that. Let's see. I don't want to attack with the three ones though, I don't think. So we'll just attack with the Colossus here. So we'll kill the Tanuki. And get a 1-1 one, one and pass. Um, I probably can sag it and drain him too, actually. Well, I don't have to do it now. I can't get another 1-1 one, one anyway, so... Alright, we'll do it on their turn. Discarding a hacker. Hmm. I don't get it. They didn't want to cast it because they've got something bigger to cast, perhaps. Ah, okay. I see. No, they want to cast the Sky Turtle. That makes sense. Take one. Sack uh, this thing. Sky turtle of our own. Well, that's cool. So I guess we'll do that. I don't have the mana, huh? Just one green. That's too bad. Alright, I guess we'll do this. Six, seven, eight, nine. So next turn is my last turn. All right. We probably still try and make more bodies.
this. Count, uh, construct, I guess. That's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have the modified creatures, but it's all right. So play is we Kami's Flare, the Kami of Transients. So do that. Sack one one. Everything here. See you for the next one. Oh, let's see. We're on the draw. Just green mana. Ah, I think I'll risk it. We need some good draws here, but... Um, I think it's, it's okay to keep this. quite do the Avenger, but that's alright. We can do it next turn, so that's kind of cool. And we can even get the cultivation back from it. It's kind of cool. But at least they have the first striker, so it's going to make it a little bit, a little bit tougher. So useful here, but I guess I still use it. Take two. Hmm. It's gonna be a tough one. So we'll kill the first striker. Hopefully, draw land here. No, that's too bad. So, can't play anything and can't do much here. I could bluff. Since I'm in pretty bad shape, I'm actually going to go for the bluff. All right, good. Let that band out. We'll get in and we'll get back. Uh, I think we actually want this. We need 
lands here pretty badly. Nice one. See, I guess we can. Let's see. This. I suppose we can do this. Well. No, let's do the cuff. Because this can already ramp for mana, so I think it makes more sense to put the cultivation on something that can't. Plus, if we draw a land, I want to make this a 2 5 probably. Cultivation here. And I guess we'll pass. Can't really afford to take much da more damage here. Nice one. good. Alright, put a thing there, put a bear down, and pass. I guess I could have put it on a bear, that might have made more sense. Alright, ended up going 2-3. Uh, not very good, but it was a weird deck, so not super surprised. Let's do some back one pick ones. Let's see, we've got here... I guess I could take the hover bike. It's colorless, it's playable anywhere, it's at its best in ninjas. And here, oof, this would be a bad pick one, pick one. Probably just go with Thornwood Falls, honestly. I don't care about any of these cards. All right, thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.